In Canto 11 of Inferno, our intrepid duo is still in the sixth circle, walking along the edge of another deep, stinking abyss. Virgil advises they rest and get used to the smell. They stop near the tomb of Pope Anastasius. Virgil explains in greater detail the structure of the remaining circles of hell, which are divided into rings. The seventh circle is for those whose sin is violence. It's further divided into those who were violent against others, those violent against themselves, and those violent against God. The eighth circle is for hypocrites, flatterers, liars, and others who betrayed the trust that comes naturally to people. The ninth, last circle, is for those who betrayed their family, country, guests, and benefactors. Virgil explains that the worst punishments in hell are reserved for the types of sins that offended God most. The fraudulent are punished in hell's deepest, worst circles. He also explains that usury is a sin because humans were meant to make their living from art, the work of their own hands. Usurers make money from money, and they scorn God's ways. The poets make their way down the cliff into the seventh circle. In this little break, Dante and Virgil's teacher-student relationship is firmly established, and when Dante asks questions, Virgil obliges. He lays out a verbal map of hell so Dante has some sense of what is going to happen, as well as a general principle that the lower you descend into hell, the worse it is going to get. The further down they go, the further they are from God. How much worse can hell get? Turns out, a lot worse. <laughs>